Another top story that we've continued to follow here on Live Now from Fox, the continued search efforts for Brian Laundry, the fiance of deceased Gabby Petito. The uh, death of her is being ruled a homicide initially, and it's hard to believe that it's been nearly a month since Brian Laundry's parents claim they last saw or heard from him. Well, I do want to head out to Northport, Florida, where Brian is from and where we've had teams outside of his parents' home. We're being joined right now by Fox's Steve Harrigan out there in front of a memorial, it looks like, for Gabby Petito. Steve, good morning to you. What can you tell us? Good morning, Regina. It was a rare appearance last night by Brian Laundrie's parents. They were holed up inside that house, which is really surrounded by media. For most of the weekend, just after 11 p.m., they did come out the reason to do so was to pick up laundry baskets, which someone had left on their front lawn, as well as a poster of Gabby Petito that someone had shoved in their lawn as well. So they, the Fox News digital team was out there around the clock. They tried to pepper the laundry parents with questions, no response from them. But the laundry parents have been cited as odd by the police here. Uh, they didn't allow police to speak with their 23-year-old son upon his return September 1st. And they've also changed the date when Brian Laundrie disappeared. They moved it back a day to September 13th. So their behavior being seen as odd by local police here, Regina. Yeah, now Steve, I'm actually showing the viewers some of that video from last night. Now, have we seen the parents come out more at night like this situation here? I know that you guys have had teams outside of their home relatively often. What have we seen as far as their behavior? I know that Brian's father actually aided in rescue efforts over the weekend. Is that correct? There have been a search continuing at a nature preserve, a 24,000 acre preserve about 10 miles away from here. That's where the parents initially said that they thought Brian Laundry went off to take a hike there. And it was actually the father, Chris, who on Thursday accompanied authorities for three hours on a hike, trying to point out some of the favorite spots where his son might be. At this point, though, police and authorities say they have no physical evidence that Laundry has been in that park, no campsites found, and they really don't know at this point whether he is dead or alive, Regina. Now, Steve, what have the search efforts looked like over the weekend? What can we expect moving forward into this week? What do we know this morning? Uh, your question broke up a little bit, but I will just tell you a bit about where we are now and what we've been seeing. It's really a makeshift memorial to Gabby Petito, and we've seen really over the last several days a steady stream of people coming up to pay their respects, to take photographs, some pray. It's not just your run-of-the-mill, you know, tragedy, flowers and teddy bears. A lot of people have taken this story to heart. They've created some elaborate works of art. The Petito family was actually here over the weekend to take some of those mementos home with them. This temporary makeshift memorial is going to be replaced as of tomorrow. It's been getting hit by the elements quite a bit, by the wind and the rain. A uh, man from Indiana is building a steel bench, which will be part of the permanent memorial, so we could see a change here pretty soon. A lot of the people that we've talked to over the last few days have a personal connection to this case. They either know someone in one of the families or know someone who knows someone, and a lot of them really taking this tragedy, this sad story to heart, Regina. Absolutely. Well, Steve, we really thank you for joining us here on Live Now from Fox with that update, and we'll continue to check in with your team on any more developments. You have a great rest of your day. Thank you.